Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre. Yeah, don't look at my hair, I just come in from the garden. Tonight I'm making roast beef and potatoes and stuff. So we're gonna, this is my last roast from our beef. Um, so we're gonna see how many meals we can get out of it. Okay, so here's some butter and oil in my cast iron. And my roast has been thawing in the fridge. It's the one I had vacuum sealed. So this is a cross rib roast. So we're gonna do ourselves some searing. And I'm going to put some coarse pickling salt on here. Why? Because meat loves salt and salt loves meat. I'm going to turn this off now because cast iron holds its heat. We're just going to take this and flip it on over. This holds in the juice and the flavor. And off to one side. To the other side. There we go. Okay. We got our potatoes peeled. We're just going to drop them in there. On goes our lid. And this is going into a 325 degree oven for about two and a half hours. Well, ho folks, I hope you can see this because the viewfinder on my camera is now completely dead. So, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You have to excuse my stovetop, folks. I've been working on zucchini all, all afternoon. 30 pounds or so of it. I've got... I'm going to have to take those bones out for soup. Nice oven roasted taties. Oh, I forgot your onion. Oh, no. You'll survive, I'm sure. So here's our taters. And look at that beautiful juice in the bottom for gravy. I have my, look it, I have my uh, Yorkshire pudding tub in the oven waiting for the Yorkshire pudding. So let's get the Yorkshire pudding done. I don't know if you guys are gonna see any of this. So in here, I've got my flour and my baking powder salt. And there's my eggs and my milk. I'm gonna turn my oven up to 400 degrees for the Yorkshire pudding. Set that aside for a minute while we get ready for our, to make our gravy. Let's move our Yorkshire pudding out of the way. I really hope you can see what I'm doing here, folks. And here I have uh, three quarters of a cup of water. I'm going to turn this juice on. And I'm going to add about a half a cup, not even a half a cup, a third a cup of flour. The lid on this. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And as soon as this stuff comes up to a real piping hot simmer, then we will... This is my favorite whisk for gravy. There's my oven up to 400 degrees. I'm gonna put my, pour my Yorkshire pudding into my oiled bowl here. Be quick. Let me just go like that. I'm 
gosh, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Now, see we're browning that. Just like that. I'm going to add some of our parsnip and carrot and turnip water. Maybe a little bit more of veg water. You don't want to waste the nutrients, do you? Okay, I'm going to strain our carrots and turnips and parsnips. I'm going to put them on the burner here. And put in a tablespoon of butter. Whoa, 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 whoa. A couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And we've got the burner on under here so we can give them a sear while we mash this all together. There's quite a bit of bone in here. This is bone. Well, folks, it looks like we might only get two meals out of this. We'll see. No, Gracie. Oh, this. Look at this roast, guys. It's just falling apart. Um, for another meal because there's enough meat on there that I could probably get a casserole out of that and then soup with the bones. Let's make up Howard's plate. Whoops. Oh, those potatoes are beautiful. I'm only going to eat one. Okay, one and a half. That one wants me to have half. Oh. Let me just see how our Yorkshire pudding is doing. I don't know if you guys can see this. this Sorry, folks. My camera completely died. <laughs> so I'm doing this with my phone. Oh, this is Sunday dinner. Well, you know, Sunday on the we've Thursday. had enough hamburgers and hot dogs for a bit. That's your mashed root veg. Mm -hmm. Very good. There's your Yorkshire pudding and gravy, beef and gravy, and your roasted potatoes. Just missing my onion. <laughs> Wonderful. What'd Thank you do you. to your cheek? I was working, and I stabbed myself with my thumb. Don't do that. I found it kind of silly, too. Well, I bet. Awesome. Maybe I'll have some leftovers for lunch. No, no. maybe. <laughs> what about... Uh... Hmm. What about... Uh... Oh, oh, Make her say please. Die. Say please. She said, didn't I already say please with that little moan? There we go. There we go. Yeah, I've been, it's been a day. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, roast beef, last roast beef, meal number one. Take care, God bless. <laughs>